In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to identify trends in the market. If you're a binary options trader that struggles to identify trends in the market, today I'm going to be showing you three unbelievably simple methods to instantly identify trends in the market. But before we get straight into the video, you're currently looking at feedback and profits made by my clients. Some of them are making five to $600 per day in my VIP binary option signals room. I provide the best binary option signals probably in the world. Five signals per day, 25 signals per week, 100 signals per month. Profit is made every single day. This week alone, we got 20 out of 25 trades. I have a 75% win rate with a proven track record. We're making so much money right now and you're missing out. It's not too late to join. If you're interested in joining, it will only cost you $10 per month, which you'll probably make back with just a few of my signals. The link to my Telegram bot is in the description below. Type slash start to get started with your subscription today. If the signals don't work out for you, you can cancel your subscription at any time. Okay, so the first method to identify trends in the market is by using higher timeframes. 99% of binary options traders use lower time frames like the 1 minute, the 5 minute or even the 15 minute time frame. Using time frames like the 4 hour and the daily time frame can really help you identify the long term trend in the market. In this example here we're on CAD CHF on the 4 hour time frame. And if we jump over to the daily time frame, we'll see there's confluence between these two time frames. And we can clearly see that CAD CHF is very bearish. Now, if we switch over to the 5 minute time frame, we can see that CAD CHF is in a short term uptrend, but we are well aware that CAD CHF is in a long term downtrend. So at some point, CAD CHF will start heading down because the markets always follow the long term trend. So the best bit of advice I can give you guys is always trade with the markets and never against it. Here's another example on GBP CAD on the 4 hour time frame. And if we switch over to the daily time frame, you'll see there's confluence between these two time frames. We can clearly see that GBP CAD is in a long term uptrend. Now, if we jump over to the five minute time frame, you'll see a little bit of bearish divergence, but we know long term GBP CAD is very bullish. So at some point, the price will most likely break through this resistance level and head towards the upside because the price is in a long term uptrend. And always remember the markets move in the direction of the long term trend. Like I said earlier, you want to trade with the markets and never against it. Now, the second method to identify trends in the market is by identifying market structure. So you're probably wondering what is market structure? Well, market structure is the behavior, condition and flow of the market. It basically highlights support and resistance levels, swing highs and swing lows. The amazing thing about market structure is that you you can identify market structure on any time frame. The lower the time frame, the more short term the trend, and the higher the time frame, the more long term the trend. Now, you've got three types of market structure, and we're going to go through each one in detail. First up, we've got bullish market structure. Now, why is this bullish market structure? Well, price is creating higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows which essentially means price is in an uptrend. And when market structure is bullish, you want to focus on opening buy positions only. Here we have an example on GBP USD on the five minute time frame. Market structure is bullish. As you can see, the price is creating higher highs and higher lows, which is perfectly highlighted in this channel. Now market structure is broken when the price breaks below the most recent higher low. And as you can see in this example, the price clearly breaks below the most recent higher low. Once the price has broken through the most recent higher low, the price is no longer in an uptrend and market structure has officially shifted in momentum. Next up, we've got consolidating market structure. Now you're probably wondering what is consolidating market structure? It essentially means the market is in a range. It is not in an uptrend nor in a downtrend. Now, if you're an inexperienced trader, you want to avoid trading ranging markets because you can easily get caught by false breakouts and then you start questioning why you've entered a trade in the first place. Here we have an example on USD CNH on the one hour time frame. As you can see, we've got consolidating market structure. The price is not in an uptrend nor in a downtrend, but is rather in a range. 
In every consolidating range, we've got a support level and a resistance level. And in this example, we have multiple key touches of both of these levels. If price breaks above this resistance level, market structure will now become bullish. And if price breaks below the support level, market structure will now become bearish. And in this example here, we can clearly see that the price breaks well below the support level and market structure has now become bearish. So regardless if the price breaks above the resistance level or below the support level, if it breaks in either direction, the consolidation is broken and market structure has officially shifted in momentum. Now, last but not least, we've got bearish market structure. Now, how do we know this is bearish market structure? Well, the price is creating lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, which essentially means the price is in a downtrend. And when market structure is bearish, you want to focus on opening sell positions only. Here we have an example on all JPY on the one minute time frame. As you can see, market structure is clearly in a downtrend with bearish divergence having formed, the price creating lower lows and lower highs. Now, market structure is broken when the price breaks above the most recent lower high. And in this example, the price clearly breaks well above the most recent lower high. Once the price breaks above the most recent lower high, the price is no longer in a downtrend and market structure has officially shifted in momentum. At the end of the day, when it comes to trading binary options, it's extremely important to identify market structure before opening any sort of trades. And lastly, we have method number three for identifying trends in the market, and that's making use of the moving average indicator. So what is the moving average? The moving average is an indicator that is used to determine the trend direction in the market. Once you've added the moving average indicator to your chart, it should look something like this. Now from here, you're going to want to change a couple of the settings. You're going to want to change the length from nine to 200, which essentially means we're now working with a 200 day moving average. Then you're going to want to change the method from SMA to EMA, which stands for Exponential Moving Average. Okay, so once you've adjusted the settings on the moving average indicator, it should look something like this. Now when the price is above the 200 EMA, the market is in an uptrend. And when the price is below the 200 EMA, the market is in a downtrend. You'll find that using lower time frames like the one minute time frame that we're using here will show us more short term trends in the market. But if we switch over to a higher time frame like the daily time frame, this will show us longer term trends in the market. Now, if you're a beginner with inexperience, my advice to you would be is if the price is trading above the 200 EMA, the market is obviously bullish, it's in an uptrend, you want to focus on opening buy positions only. And when the price is trading below the 200 EMA, the market is obviously bearish, it's in a downtrend, you want to focus on opening sell positions only. Look, when starting out, there's so many indicators you can use to identify trends in the market. I mean, you've got indicators like the Donchian channels, the stochastic RSI, the super trend indicator, you name it. But you'll find in time, as you gain experience and you become a better trader, you won't need to rely on indicators to identify trends in the market. In conclusion, with these three methods, I can guarantee you, you'll instantly be able to identify different trends in the markets. Just simply stick to the rules and hey, don't do anything I wouldn't do. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, go ahead and smash a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new and I'll see you in the next one.